Hi guys, a very very short video in which I want to show you what I did. This is a video especially for thank you. Make my greeting to the Retro Gaming Cable UK because they provided me this which is a Sync Blaster, their products, they, they, they do and they produce incredible products. Here we are. This is a Sync Blaster. Basically, it's a Sync Stripper fitted with a LM1881 inside. Able us and allow us to sync every kind of signal of the beautiful monitor Commodore 1084S. As you all know, I'm sure this monitor cannot uh, accept uh, actually the RGB, RGB signal of our consoles, but it, it accepts only the HV and C Sync uh, signals. So if you, they, they, they were designed for Amiga, for this kind of uh, computers that have HV sync and not for the ordinary uh, consoles with which have uh, other other type of uh, synchronism of the image uh, but uh, you can uh, change the situation actually with this little tiny thing on here because if you want to sync like a Mega Drive or Wii or whatsoever you you have to modify the sync of the consoles, some of them allow you to output in C-Sync, like the Wii, like Mega Drive, for example, uh, but most of them no, and otherwise you have to modify them, uh, in any case, uh, while uh, we, if you use uh, this kind of product, uh, which they provided me uh, with a very, very passionate uh, um, and kind and, and kindness towards myself uh, because it completely sold out, so they don't have any more in, on, on sale, but they found two for me. One is fitted inside the monitor and the other one is a spare part that I will, I will take for, uh, you know, for spare parts, as a spare part. Uh, and with that, uh, we can strip the sync, so we can we are allowed to sync and to uh, link every kind of console in this beautiful monitor. Okay, uh, I made the work inside of the of the monitor because I have different ones, so I want to keep it uh, like uh, only for the consoles okay so i solder it on the pcb on the on the cga port and uh, so you don't need anything else then then a cable like that which is the exact same cable i use for my 8833 monitor rgb sorry here i have to change the the power button the next video so will be <laughs> dedicated to the power button of the 1084s monitor and so basically you only need with this modification so with the sync blaster put inside of the monitor you only need a cable uh, cga to female cart like this one so you can put directly the wii or whatsoever console in the monitor all right, here we are. We is power on now. And here we are. A true RGB signal for this amazing monitor. Okay, here we are. I'm sure image is, is better like that. And here we are, 240p, 480i. 288, 50 hertz, and everything is perfect. So here we have a true RGB image with perfect, perfect sync. Okay, without this modification, you you will have uh, like like the, the the screen start to start to freeze or whatever. Anyway, it's not uh, you cannot have a sync. Okay, so it doesn't work like that. 
uh, in, in like in stock. You need those uh, sync strippers, so otherwise impossible to sync an RGB signal. Okay. Well, the monitor is is great. Monitor is great. Uh, I love this monitor. So image is ultra clear, ultra sharp. This monitor has uh, already been, uh, you know, revised by myself. It has a new flyback, uh, uh, new parts, uh, so everything is uh, like uh, perfect. I wouldn't say brand new totally, but it's partially <laughs> new. Okay, so let's see uh, a game. Okay, here we are. Video mode, of course, it's 60 hertz is better. Okay, original. Wow, oh, guys, wow. That's it, that's perfect. Another monitor fully restored with a great modification. And thank you again to Retro Gaming Cable that provides me this amazing little piece of PCB allowing myself to use this great monitor with all my consoles. Of course, it's not 100% perfect with 100% of console, because for example, if you link to a PS2, PS2 has an RGB um, on, on green signal, okay? So the sync is on, on green, which is kind of different. So if you will put um, uh, PS2 on this monitor, the sync is perfect, so the image is clear, but it's completely green, okay? Because this monitor doesn't have the switch to the sync on green, okay? Like, uh, differently than the 8033 um, that has actually also the RGB on green uh, sync, so on that monitor you can link anything, really anything. Uh, in this, uh, it lacks of uh, RGB on green, but it's okay. I mean, it's just, it's very rare uh, uh, in European console with the RGB sync on green. Eh? Probably it's the only one uh, that, uh, if I remember correctly. The other, other console, all other consoles, SNES, Mega Drive, uh, Dreamcast whatsoever, uh, Xbox, uh, Xbox 360, they don't have a sync on green.